So what? You know why they spent so much time in seven verses talking about this dog and this cult? To let you know that what's happening is the fulfillment of a prophecy that Jacob made all the way back in Genesis. I want you to turn with me now to Genesis 49. Genesis 49. Jacob is an old man. He's going to be dead soon, and he's prophesying what all of his 12 sons are going to be doing and their descendants in their lives. It says in verse 3, he talks to Reuben. Verses five, verse 5 and following, he talks to his, about his sons, future Simeon and Levi. And then verse 8. Now remember, remember Palm Sunday. Remember all the details about getting this donkey and this colt. Now, starting in verse 8 of Genesis 49, old Jacob is going to prophesy what a descendant of his son Judah will be like. You ready? I don't think you're ready. Genesis 49, 8. Judah. Now, this is a prophecy about Jesus, by the way. Judah, your brother shall praise you. Your hand shall be on the neck of your enemies. You shall seize your enemies by the throat. Your father's sons will bow down to you. Judah is a lion's whelp. Remember the book of Revelation? Jesus is called the Lion of the tribe of Judah. From the prey, my son, you've gone up. He crouches. He lies down as a lion. And as a lion, who dares rouse him up? The scepter, which is a symbol of rule and authority and kingship. The scepter shall not depart from Judah, his descendant, nor the ruler's staff from between his feet until Shiloh comes. What does Shiloh mean in Hebrew? The one to whom it belongs is what it means. The one to whom it belongs. Now, instead of saying Shiloh, let's say that. The scepter, this symbol of rule and authority, shall not depart from Judah's descendant, nor the ruler's staff from between his feet, until the one to whom the scepter belongs comes. I mean, how can a Christian not see Jesus there? That he is given the scepter to rule over men and nations. And he's going to come and rule. And look at the rest of that verse. And to him shall be the obedience of the peoples. Not just the Jews, but peoples all over the world are going to submit to the scepter of this coming one who is the Messiah, the Lord Jesus Christ. And here it is, verse 11. He ties his foal to the vine and his donkey's colt to the choice vine. This king that has the scepter, he's coming, and he's going to ride on a mount that kings ride on, one that's never been ridden, ridden before. 